Okay there, folks. Connor Lamb is coping right now. Connor Lamb, a.k.a. Joe Manchin Jr. He is obviously running in the Democratic primary against Malcolm Kenyatta and John Fetterman. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you why he's coping. So check it out. New Franklin and Marshall College poll of U.S. Senate primary in PA. Fetterman, 53%. Okay. That's real good, isn't it? I mean, what, what, so what's that mean Lamb has? 14%. Getting absolutely obliterated. Kenyatta, 4%. And uh, this is all registered Dems. It was conducted April 20th at, through May 1st. And it's a 12-point bump for Fetterman. This is after the debates. Since the last FNM poll, which was conducted in early April. Now, look, I, you guys see me boosting Fetterman every day, sharing it on Facebook, boosting him on Instagram and Twitter, donate to him, get it done, get take talk to your coworkers and family and friends if that's who you want. Okay? And I would like to see him win this. Now, keep in mind, he's in the Democratic Party, so it's not like it's going to make a huge difference, but... Um, Beating Connor Lamb would be sweet, and then beating a Republican would be sweet. It's just sweet. It's just sweet, man. There ain't nothing there. Not much more to it than that. Oh, check this out. Here's the numbers from the Republican primary. Um, Oz is at eight. This is for the Senate, of course. Is at eighteen percent. McCormick is at sixteen percent. Barnett twelve percent. Sands five percent, and Bardo's at two percent. Now, GOP primary for governor is Mastriano at 20%, McSwain 12%, Barletta 11 White 8 Hart 2 Zama 2 Jake Corman 1%. What did I tell you, son? When you pulled that stuff in the freaking in the Senate a couple years ago, your career was over. We maybe we have a video on that. On both sides of the aisle, there's room for movement in the final two-week stretch before the May 17 primary. In the Dem Senate primary, 22% are, are undecided. And 51% of those who named a preference said they could change their mind about their choice before Election Day. In the new poll, Federability's favor, favorability rating is at 67% with Lamb at only 46 Now, I don't see anything for the... Um, the Democratic primary here for, for governor... I think it's going to be Josh Shapiro, who is the attorney general right now. You know, he's done a good job as an attorney general. He's got quite a lot of popularity, it seems. So uh, there's a good chance he could win. Look, Pennsylvania is a pretty blue state, but it's not a heavily blue state. Okay, there's always a chance for the Republican Party to pull one out here. And especially since, look, I flipped out, bro. I'm telling you something with, with, with registering people online and in person, I was probably myself registering as many people as serious movers in the Democratic Party in Pennsylvania because the Republican Party registered about 300,000 votes, 250,000, something like that, while the Democratic Party had registered like 25,000. That's pathetic. This is before the election in 2020. All right, and if you guys are aware, the Democratic Party used to have about a million voter advantage in Pennsylvania with the potential to be way more. There should be about 1.5 million more registered Dems in the state, but guess what? They're lazy. Democratic Party is lazy. There are deep blue areas here that are not exploited at all from a vote standpoint. And you know what? Fine, because you're exploiting them anyways in other ways. Why should why the hell they should they ex, why should the hell should they actually help you win? Well, because Republicans are worse. It's sweet, sweet seeing them lose. But if you guys aren't going to help, this is what's going to happen, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna read to you what Connor Lamb had to say, and then I'm gonna leave it from there because he's coping. Maybe, you know what? We'll read some of the responses to it. Okay, we'll read some of the responses to it. He said, I don't usually talk about polls, but here are some important facts you should know about the new FNM poll. This Senate seat belongs to you. You decide what happens in May. He says, not that we pay attention to it, but in a state with lots of dubious survey results, the FNM poll seems especially sketchy. Very small sample size. 
Apparently unscreened for likelihood to vote, more egregious, the respondents are highly self-selected. They were first contacted by mail and were required to contact FNM in some way to indicate their interest in participating to select their preferred mode, online or phone. I doubt these results bear much resemblance to where the race really is right now. <laughs> first response. Mansion loves me, Connor, Cin Connor Cinema Lamb. Reason to support me. I am not socialist, but I can underperform two socialists. I can under and he has some lists here for the for for obviously the district that he ran in. I can underperform up and down the ballot in every regular election. He's got that too. I am so electable that I pulled six percent worse against Oz than Fetterman. Support me to give the Senate to Trump. <laughs> Next. GOP rich donors have bought Daddy Mansion, Mommy Cinema, and their son me. So I can run a campaign without people's donation and send you free yard signs. As a senator, I will fight for the rich and exploit the people the same way as my parents do. <laughs> Isn't that funny, though? Think about it. If if Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema had a baby, it would be like Connor Lamb. That's amazing, dude. I am a great inventor. I have invented the time machine. Proof? I can claim to have co-sponsored the bill to codify Roe before I really co-sponsored it. I never took a dime from the PNC bank. I'm not cheap. If you want to buy me, at least with tens of thousands. <laughs> oh, by the way, I didn't get to do a video on this. I didn't get to do... I'll, I'll read you a couple more of these. I didn't get to do a video on this. He tried to steal an endorsement from Philadelphia's 5th Ward. Mm. Did he get torched? He got absolutely torched for that. I mean, obviously. It is just not going all what next. I ain't reading all that. I'm happy for you though. Or sorry that it happened. <laughs> uh, this says, dude, you should really show all the information about methodology. The margin of error was plus minus six point five percentage points. You're still trailing by double digits. Love it. <laughs> also, source. Did you write that yourself? Next, he plagiarized. Uh, he plagiarized that from one of his out-of-state K-Hive trolls. Next, LOL cope. <laughs> Next, I don't usually talk about polls, except every campaign stop where I said to not listen to the media in polls. Next, I was torn 50-50 between you and Lieutenant Governor, but your hard negative turn on Fetterman a couple weeks ago sealed the deal for me. We don't need disunity right now. I'm going to vote for John. So you're saying we can't trust the poll numbers, but Kenyatta should drop out because of his low poll numbers? Hmm, that's very interesting. You ignored the polls last fall that told you how far, beh far behind you were. The sensible thing would have been to drop out and you could have kept your house seat. <laughs> uh, we don't need any more mansions or cinemas. Thanks. Connor Lamb is a Joe Manchin Democrat. Next. Release your internal polling. Simple. Your FEC filing says you pay Beacon Research good money for surveys. What? Let's see it, son. Let's see it. I may need a fact check on this one. I don't see how the sample size can make the numbers off by double digits. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. He's getting smoked. He's getting smacked about. We still, we still got to vote. I vote every time. I vote like three times a year. If they got a special election, I vote three times a year. I hit the primaries all every year, 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, before that, you know. Uh, midterms, off year elections, presidential, just, it's so easy. And then organized workplaces, tenants, and students. Guys, I'm going to leave it right there. Arm and train the left. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. We'll be back with some more.